Don't forget to check out my Patreon link in the description down below where we do exclusive content for videos that get blocked on YouTube like Level Up Project 1, 2, and 3, Twice Sees the Light, Black Pink House, 80s Treasure Film, Black Pink's documentary. Tons of blocked performances are on there as well and certain tours such as Red Mare, Red Room, Twice Lights, Twice Land, the Black Pink The Show online concert, Shiny World 4, and tons of Knowing Bro episodes and so much more. Link in description down below. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have Cheyong's counseling room on Super Intern. I don't really know what this is about, but I was requested to react to this on Patreon. On Patreon, I have certain tiers for requests. You can request really long videos like a Knowing Bros episode or literally anything like over an hour and stuff. Like someone's requested the first episode of Love Alarm and I am reacting to the rest of it. So see so yeah, how that can work sometimes. Um, and someone's requested Girls' Generation on Knowing Bros, so on and so forth. Um, but then there's another tier where you can just request like short videos and stuff. And someone requested this video along with a few other things, but those are separate. Um, and yeah, so we're going to hop into the video. I, I've i heard of like that counseling show that's really controversial and gross. And sometimes there's like talks of abuse on there and they don't do anything about it. But I don't think this is it. I feel like this might be a skit or something. Either way, it's Cheyong. The person also, their bias is Cheyong, so hello fellow Cheyong Stan and yeah so I can trust this is probably a good video hello oh, okay <laughs> oh is this like fancy you era <laughs> definitely is it's 2019 she's on here alone though it's interesting <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Her cute little mole. <laughs> wow, imagine... <laughs> I'm supposed to such a Hannah Montana thing. Like, if you know who Cheyong is, you'll know it's her with with that little mask on. What kind of Cinderella story? I love it, it's funny. Oh, hi, Dimple. Oh, her daddy. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh! Am I gonna see? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna see. Am I gonna see her interacting with guys? Me, a gay, in love with Cheyong, but still low key excited to see her interact with guys. <laughs> Maybe it makes sense. I don't know. If I can't have her, I want to see her flirt with other people. Or them flirt with her. But they probably won't. But it will still be cute to see her interact with people. <laughs> Me. Imagine thinking you cannot tell her apart. Ew. Why is JYP here? Coin drawing game. In the coin drawing room, Chang will listen to the current worries of teens and give her solutions as well as hand drawn pictures as prescriptions. Yeah, I guess the cure to depression would be Chang drawing you a cute little daiki on a paper. Yeah, I can't deny that. I can't deny this. This is this is true. Uh I think all jokes aside, Chang is very wise and like smart. I know I'm like really biased, but I, I think she's very intelligent. So she'll probably give some good advice, unless this is more playful and joking around. But I feel like Loki she'll give like some decent advice. All right, I her lips give it all away. Her teeth, everything. Me slipping a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> mm 
Yo, how? This is the biggest joke ever. I can't. They didn't even try. I love it. It's so funny because it's so easy to tell it's her. <laughs> That's what makes it funny to me. Like, I get it. You could probably hesitate. I feel like, yeah, maybe I would hesitate, I guess, in person. I would feel stupid if it wasn't her, but I don't know. <laughs> I thought two guys were going in though. I guess they cut that part. Or they're over there. Maybe they're their boyfriends. I don't know. I want to shake your hand. Her hair flip. She knows that well. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Like, <laughs> I feel that though. So I can't even, I can't even fight her. Cause same. Like I'm her. I'm literally her right now. But Chang's right. Like. All the TWICE members probably had someone who was technically maybe better than them as trainees, but you can still try, you know? And they tried, and look where they are. Like, you don't always have to be the best, you just have to be good, you know? And then one day you'll be your own best. You're your worst critic. Look at this wise girl. She's so cute. I would frame it. I don't know what it was, but I'll frame it. It's cute. I'll frame it. Oh, I would frame. I would get the little flowers tattooed on me too. Oh. I put like the little flower right here. You did great. Oh, here are the guys. Oh, they're so cute. What were the names? Did they say their names? I don't know. Oh, they're so young. Babies. Oh, they're adorable. These guys are chill. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> if I was that guy, I'd be starstruck too, you know? <laughs> this guy. A young say she felt so targeted because <laughs> she's probably like saying, but Chang, you're adorable. You're adorable. Wow, they called her out. And they used my favorite picture of her, my favorite hairstyle and everything. They really said, let's, let's just throw it at her. They're so... <laughs> I don't see female idols like interact with their fans as much as male idols strangely i don't know i think because i'm still getting into the girl group side so i'm not at least not twice i don't see i see them at fan science but it's like 
I see, I just see a lot more interactions with male idols and the female fans. But I guess it could be a more safety thing, like no offense, but males are kind of creepy. <laughs> Guys can be very uh, aggressive. Female fans, very aggressive too. I think most cases of weird fan things were female fans, but I think hopefully they're a bit more protective of their female idols so maybe that's why but it's so cute look how shy they are oh same. they're just staring at her but same she's just used to this though because man signs she's it's so funny she probably googled this herself <laughs> Look how nervous he is. <laughs> Aww, this is so cute. There's, they were so much more shy than. Okay, so maybe male fans are more shy. I don't know. I really thought. Well, they. It's probably older male fans. I feel like younger male fans are probably just really awkward and just in love with them. So same. Girls are a bit more expressive though. So. <laughs> I wonder if he kept it. So cute! Oh, look how cute they are! They're so small! Well, they specified teens outside, I think, right? Skincare, she says, with beautiful skin. I don't know about perming. Yeah. Me nodding as I wear foundation, but you know, I mainly wear concealer. <sighs> what would you ask if you went with her? Like, if you went here, what would you ask Cheyong? I don't really know what I would ask. I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> It's so cute. It's you. I would die if he was like, it's you. <laughs> like, I would die. He's so little. He's 14. Unless they're using international age. Regardless, he's so young. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> that guy is adorable. Wow, he got a nice one. Oh, I feel like that's a cute thing, but I also feel it's kind of awkward. Like if I met like Nayeon, even though she's not my bias, I wouldn't be like, tell Chaeyoung I love her, because I always feel like that's kind of rude. <laughs> But I get, I think he just means in general, like, tell him I love him too. But I've seen, like, cases where they would be like, oh, my bias is actually, like, dying. And it kind of feels like you didn't want to see her. <laughs> that guy was adorable, though. so pretty. Oh, Chan looked like a protective big sister in that moment. She was about to throw hands. Oh, I feel like Chan is the type to really protect her friends. You know what I mean? And this girl isn't even a friend, but I felt like she looked really like a little like angry. Like her face tightened up a bit. Mm -hmm. Big sister Chan here. This poor girl. <gasps> no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's also good because if you're only nice to people, there's nothing they can gossip about. And if they start a rumor, those who are true good friends around you would know. She didn't say that. You're making that up. And no matter what, you always will have good, true stuff around you. Obviously, some people will believe the bad things. But if you're only good and kind to others, the likelihood of people believing that person will lower. So I guess the message would be like, don't talk trash and people won't have trash to talk about you, I guess. Like, I never really... I... <laughs> this sounds like I'm hyping myself, but I truly just never, like, did anything bad in school. I was very... I was a bad student, learning-wise, but, like, I never started rumors or listened to rumors or said anything mean or bad or anything or talked trash about anyone. And I was always the friend <laughs> that others would go to because I would never do that. Like, they could trust me. So even though they would talk trash about other people, I would just kind of listen and not recuperate it, but still listen to them. And basically, I just heard all ends of the conversation around me and I just wouldn't tell anyone. I don't know if that was like a good thing, but I didn't want to ever be in that drama. So yeah, and plus it was just high school, like who cares, but <laughs> just you could be that person. Love us. Mood. No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, that's it. It's just her face. I would cry. I'd probably cry if I saw her. Because she's so pretty. My eyes would water. Just seeing her face. That smile heals all. Is she wearing... Uh, that, I, she's wearing a blanket, but I thought she was wearing, like, Dion's pants. Because <laughs> Dion would wear those type of pants. No, I, I told you, like, she- I feel like that one hit the most. I could see it. I could see it. I would frame it. This was nice. I really like this. Oh, I want that one. Thank you. I hope my license is just a little bit. Why are they watching it though? Like, I've heard of Super Intern, but interesting. Interesting show. Credit to Miss Sayan. So, she's so just mature and kind and I don't know all right well that is it for this video that was a nice request I've never really seen Chaeyoung do solo activities I know it probably happens but I just never seen it yet um I mainly see like Dion, Momo, um Sana goes on a lot of shows, I think, too, even though she's Japanese, which is cool. It's nice to see foreign members of groups, you know, participate in stuff because sometimes they get nothing. Or they'll just go on that one show that, like, every foreign member goes on. Um, but I like that. I like that the, um, oh, like, Chewy. Like, strangely, the foreign members of Twice I've seen do the most solo stuff. I don't think I've seen Jiho on much. I think they all do it. I just it's rare I see it, especially because right now there's like a pandemic and stuff, so. But it was really cool to see Chaeyoung on something. I think she really, um, she, she was the perfect member for this. I think Jiho would have done nice too, but I think she was the perfect member to do this type of stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you for the request. You can check out Patreon for reactions to 16, Elegant Private Life, all their tours. I think I've done like all their tours. I'm doing their Japanese tours soon. 
um, so on and so forth. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!